Once they hit seventh grade to do their extra credit. <coughs> so the city of Berkeley schools send their children to Revolution Books, which is an openly communist, anti-white, Marxist bookstore to be indoctrinated by the cultural this is Marxists say, over there, indoctrinated with Marxist, uh, Marxist theology and Marxist beliefs, and that's how they get their extra credit. Uh, this is this is part of the school curriculum is to come here and be indoctrinated. And it's also well known that there's pedophiles that work here and that have had inappropriate, done inappropriate things to the students that have been sent here to get their extra credit. Where do you get that information, Kyle? Inside oh. sources. I can't, I can't reveal my sources, guys. You're telling me, saying pedophiles sources. work at Revolution Books and have touched there, there's, kids? In, in the past, it's been known. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I've actually talked to a student that grew up here in Berkeley and was a victim of one of the people here. And so what is your relationship with children no, I don't, I, and the LGBT community?
they like it. Antifa, we've grown tremendously. Antifa, we've grown tremendously.
Let's see what Alex is saying here. Because Luma yeah. had to get something right. She had to get fixed. Getting her ovaries removed today. Yeah. Little puppy. Hey, where's the puppy's choice on that? Oh. Yeah, where, where's animal rights, man? Uh, yeah. Some people are against it, but you puppy's know what? Choice to choose. <laughs> yeah. Puppy's choice to choose. Exactly. <laughs> Those of you know, who don't know who I am, my name is Kyle Chappie, also known as Bass Stickman. I uh, want to start off with thanking everybody for showing up today. The idea is we continue to do this over and over again, time after time, to let these people know that we will not be silenced. Yeah. Yeah. Conservatives are able and allowed to exercise their freedom of speech in any city in the United States. There is no such thing as a conservative turf or liberal turf. The First Amendment extends equally to all American city citizens in all American cities. So, we'll start off with, uh, well, we are here, as I said, at the liberal mecca of Berkeley. Uh, this place could easily be confused for the actual mecca, given its hatred of America and its culture and history. Here we are at the center of the storm. If you can feel the eerie calm that creeps into the silent moments, Maybe it would be silent if we didn't have the Berkeley Troll be on. I know he never. He can go this guy never runs out of steam. <laughs> he just gets high and just goes off. <laughs> What's your feeling here? This repeated showing of patriots in the liberal enclave known as Berkeley is the feeling of emergence. It is the feeling of preparation, and when that eerie silence tapers itself into a loud, violent sound, we are left with the feeling of oncoming victory. We are winning. We are winning big time, folks. Yeah. We just passed the one-year anniversary of our country electing democratically, fairly, and without the aid of any foreign nation our 45th president of the United States, Donald John yeah. Trump. There are many who doubted us. There was the media. There was big business. There was not just the Democrat Party, a party so rotten to its core that a starving rat would turn up its nose, but the RNC they doubted us too. They tried to roadblock us. We won anyways. We fought alone. We fought alone, but we fought together, all of us. This is why Donald Trump got elected. You betcha. The 45th yeah. 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 People like us, people like you guys, this is why he got elected. It wasn't the RNC, believe that. There's a saying that my ancestors have. It was the name of a group that won Irish freedom in the 20th century. The saying is Sinn Féin, ourselves alone. It is here in this most precious footstool of Marxism that we stand, ourselves alone, against the tide of Soros and his paid lackeys. We stand ourselves alone against the corrupt teachers and administration. We stand ourselves alone against the communists and the dark hearts of the left that work in the shadows to stab us in the back. We stand ourselves alone, but stand we do. Yeah. There are many forces at work here trying to subvert us, and I don't have to name this. What I do have time to tell you is that now is the time. It is the time to keep our resolve. It is the time to keep pushing. It is the time to never, ever give up. Yeah. MAGA is here. We are not going away. You can try. You can cry at the sky. 
You can kick, you can scream. It doesn't make a pin drop of difference. We are here and we're not going away. Merriam-Webster Dictionary says that the definition of oppression is something that oppresses, especially being in an unjust exercise of power. By definition, we are not the oppressors. They are. Never, ever forget that. We are not the oppressors. They are. This clash of ideas, this class clash of ideas and belief, make no mistake, this is war. I want to restate something that the late, great Andrew Breitbart once said. This is war. Say it with me, people. This is war. This is war. This is war. <laughs> well, you didn't start this war. No, you didn't. When they decided that free speech meant their speech, they decided this war. When they decided that violence to oppress differing ideas was fair, they, decide, they started this war. When they thought burning cities to the ground over words that would not make a baby cry, they started this war. You, my fellows, did not start this war. America but you, my fellows, you. we Southern will finish America. this yes. war. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you how we fight this war. They say we can't go there. We go there. They say we can't do this. We do that. And for our enemies. And for our enemies. I got a, I got a sad story for you sad sacks of shit. This ain't the USSR. This is the United States of America. You wanted conflict? You got it. You said a million different things about we want what we want or who we are. All of your anal analysis has failed. You know what? We won. You lost. Get over it. Right? Yeah. So ultimately, we're here. To sum this up, we have one single word that stands why we're here and what, and what we stand for, guys, and that's freedom. Why are we here? Freedom! What do we live for? Freedom! And what will we die for? Freedom! That's right, folks. Thank you very much. Hell yeah!